Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something that I have never done before. So I have heard that the Grim Reaper is actually a secret hottie. So I thought we would check him out in Cass and give him a little CC makeover. I have in fact had to kill two Sims. One being Harry Styles. It was quite a sad death. But I wanted to get two Grim Reapers on the lot. So we've got Grim Reaper number one and Grim Reaper number two. So I know that the Grim Reaper is a male Sim. So I thought that we could give one Grim Reaper a male CC makeover and then maybe make the other one a female and give them a CC makeover as well just to see what they look like. So let's jump into Cass. Okay so something that I'm finding interesting is Grim Reaper number one has the evil trait and has no other traits but Grim Reaper number two wants to be a self-care specialist, hates children, is jealous and is a child of the islands. So I'm kind of wondering why this one wants a big happy family. I'm wondering if every time the Grim Reaper spawns, if they just have random traits and a random aspiration, or if there is a bit of a pattern to it. Can we like take everything? Oh, okay. Okay, that is an idea. How do we take Grim Reaper off? Like, how do we get this outfit off? Okay, things are happening. Okay, okay. So he's actually a pretty hot sim. I mean, he doesn't have any feet. Okay, he does have feet now. But he's not bad. His eyes are like weirdly massive, but he's actually a pretty hot sim. So this is the Grim Reaper. I'm guessing this is what he looks like no matter what. So let me just double check with Grim Reaper number two. Okay, so no matter what, this is how the Grim Reaper looks under his coat and gown and little hat and everything. <laughs> okay, so he's quite cute. So this sim, we are gonna make a female. Interesting. Okay, so it literally looks like the exact same person just with hair. Let me take that off. We will come back to you, Grim Reaper, maybe Grimma <laughs> Reaper. In like French, don't, um, isn't the like feminine terms, isn't it like la? Like so if you're talking about a woman, it would be la something. I don't know, but we're going Grimmer Reaper. <laughs> So she's Grimmer and this one is Grim. Okay, firstly, let's give you some CC eyes and I think that we will make your eyes a little bit smaller because they are quite large. I'm just gonna bring this up and bring this in as well. Okay, I think that is a little bit better. The nose is pretty perfect as well. Like it's beautiful. We could perhaps change the lips a little bit. Maybe if we kind of flesh them out as such, flesh, get it? Because the Grim Reaper, you know, is there to kill people and eat their flesh. I mean, I don't know if that's what he actually does, but I'm gonna be funny here, Taz. And it's not working. Okay, we'll give him those lips. These eyebrows could do with a little bit of a pluck him. But let's have a look at the brows MG9 by Go Pause Me. Okay, they're nice. We could even make them a little bit thicker. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for these male Go Pause Me eyebrows. I can't seem to thicken some of my other eyebrows and they were just looking too thin for his face. So we'll go for these ones for now. We could do the Hayden satin finish, maybe? Something like that could be quite nice with some little lashes. I'm gonna do some under eye detailing as well. A nose shine just to highlight the definition on his nose. Maybe some face pores as well to add some detailing like that. I think that looks good. I am gonna give him a hairline, although I do feel like his forehead is quite small. Is there any way to like... Oh gosh. Okay, maybe we don't put a hairline, but we will do this Obscurus nose overlay mask as well. I like that one because it adds a little Cupid's bow, so that's quite cute there. Okay, and for his hair, I think we're gonna want something that is a little bit further up on his face. So these are all like too low down in my opinion. Okay, so this is a little bit of a vibe. I do feel like his hair should be black because he is the Grim Reaper and he represents death. But I'm really sort of looking for a hair that doesn't go too far down on his forehead as his forehead is more like a two head or a one head. I don't know. I'm kind of digging the Nightcrawler hair with the tips, the, like the kind of silver grey tips. I think that could work. I think let's also give him a little bit of facial hair. Oh, I quite like that. And I like the way it kind of blends in with the Nightcrawler hair too that's actually quite perfect and then he's got a little bit of bum fluff moustache hair there as well the term bum fluff i think <laughs> is like a british term for when somebody has like hair 
on their moustache, but it's not a lot, essentially. It's not what you think. And I can definitely see him with some piercings. Maybe if we do something like an eyebrow piercing. Okay, as I couldn't do the septum, I've now gone for snake bites and I've gone for this one under his left eye as well. I think I'd also like to do some cool ear piercings, like something like this maybe. Ooh, that one's cool. Although it is floating where it's meant to go up the ear. I think he's got quite small ears actually, doesn't he? Oh, I don't know what I've done now. Okay, let me go back. Okay, something like this is quite cool as well. And I know it doesn't fully fit the ear, but you get the gist of it. Now, his head... <laughs> is it just me or does his head look at, like a lot bigger than his body? Uh, I think we need to like buff him out a little bit or like... In <laughs> Or make his head a bit smaller. No, I, I can't tell the proportions. He looks like he's from like a blooming movie or something with that head size. Okay, is that a little bit better? I honestly can't tell, but he does have quite a big head. But let's dress him anyway. Forget about the big head. Let's put him in all black. Um, okay. Colors, black. Okay, the Grim Reaper is definitely going to wear this top. All pain, no gain. Are there any better ones? Maybe something like that or a Guns and Roses. No, I quite like this one, all pain, no gain. <laughs> like mate, you literally are in charge of other people's pain and torture. So we're gonna do some like black jeans as well. And maybe some like Doc Martin style shoes. I feel like he'd have like an excessive amount of rings as well. And I also wanna give him like chipped black nail polish. <laughs> like that grim reaper doesn't have time to paint his nails and there you go that is my updated grim reaper in the sims 4 let's do the female version of the grim oh my god she's terrifying her eyes are actually gonna haunt my nightmares genuinely let's change her eyes to be my go pulls me g11 custom eyes and let's have a look at some obscurous presets uh okay this one is quite nice as well to start off with it's not too big and alien like how it was before there we go that's a little bit better we'll change these eyebrows up so they're not clay brows move them around a little bit we've got some nice obscurus brows these are quite nice as well there's some nice go pause me once again these g20 brows i feel like they look too innocent i don't know turn about them makes them look too innocent not like i kill people every day brows oh these are nice strong brows g17 let's maybe do them and let's whack some skin details onto her okay i quite like this go pause me skin tone s1 i think it's called that's quite nice and it's quite different and i don't use it so regularly so let's do that with some of these lashes. They are the Kajiko lashes as well. Best lashes you could get for your game. Freckles and dimples are too cute. And this sim is evil, not cute. I think we'll do some like eye detailing like so. Actually, I quite like the idea of adding some moles onto the, their face. So like this mole, little toffee mole. And the ears just look a bit weird. They're kind of Voldemort-y. Like, I don't know what is going on here with these ears. What did the Sims team do <laughs> when creating the ears? They're just a bit weird. I I'm not quite sure why they're like stuck to the head. <laughs> Let me just put them back to what they were. And yeah, I really don't know what has happened here. Maybe that's why Grimm's earrings didn't quite go in properly. It is very Voldemort-y, but we'll try and ignore it for now. And let's get some hair that says, I kill people on a daily basis. Okay, this does not scream, I am the Grim Reaper. This just looks weird. Now she looks like she belongs in like Game of Thrones or something. Okay, this just looks a bit, a bit chaotic actually. Okay, this is giving me, I am a killer. The weird fringe that like doesn't go all the way and the rest of the hair is like all slicked back and we've got these like small little curls stuck to her face. This screams, I am a murderer. It also shows off her odd like stuck to her head ears as well. So let's do this. Let's put this weird little hairband in her hair as well that says love as if she is the best person in the world and loves everyone. I think since we couldn't do a septum on Grim, let's do a septum on her. And I don't know why, but she just gives off large hoop energy. This is the vibe. This is what we're going for. For her makeup, we're going to go dark and dreary and I'm a murderer vibes. That's quite cool to be fair. <laughs> 
Ooh, love that. Yes, this is the vibe. And I'm feeling like purple or red lipstick. I'm gone for a little bit of contour on her face. And let's do this like red Go Pause Me. It was a Halloween 2020 makeup set. And I quite like the red. It makes it pop. She does look more terrifying and less normal than actual Grim Reaper. But to be fair, she's spawned in with like no traits. It's a little bit weird. She only spawned in with one trait. So I think she is a little bit weird. Let's dress her up in quite a sexy outfit. Fit. like maybe that's how she reels in her victims by looking all like a boobalicious and sexy so that people get drawn to her and then that's when she kills them dun, dun, dun. oh my god this is a whole look and a half <laughs> okay we won't be doing that particular look but something similar along these lines okay i love this outfit so much and like the black and the gold sort of matches in with her accessories and her earrings and stuff but is it a little bit too much we could do that or we could do a dress like this maybe because to be fair we do want her to like blend in we don't want her to stand out in that massive like meringue dress we want her to blend in so that she can easily reel in her victims is this blending in though i don't quite know to be honest could do that and then could do some like netted tights maybe like something along these lines that makes it look a little bit better i think i quite like these and then we'll do some high heels like those these are some nice little kind of gold jewelry maybe we make them sort of this color i think is more blendy with the earrings and i think the final thing we need is a necklace maybe like devil Ooh, that's quite cool or demon she's definitely not an angel or a honey or a lover could be a sinner could be a demon could be a devil let's do demon death would be considered like demonic right okay yeah demon it is and that is the finished grimmer reaper so we've got grim reaper whose head still looks too big and weird and grimmer reaper let me know what you think of them down in the comment section below tell me which one is your favorite and if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you in another video taz out